All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, this part of the series is going to be launching for the first time. Uh, if you look here, it says run the chat server. I'm going to skip it for now. We'll, we'll get into the chat server later. Uh, we're going to open the start map located in game maps. So let's go down to maps and let's open the start map. Simply double click it and it's going to load that on up while that's loading. Uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to register and create us a character. Remember we just set up the database so we need to get a character registered and created in it so that we can work inside the editor. And then we're going to change the character table to uh, zero because this is what's needed right here. Test right. That's what the editor needs. All right. All right. There's the start window. All right. Let's make sure I don't have this checked because I, I work in the editor a lot. All right. We're simply going to play this. Let's play it right there in the view editor. And we need to register account. So click register. Click register. <laughs> uh, we will call him Testy. And he will have a, a Gmail account. And just just for test purposes, so this is all going to be simple and straightforward. And then we're going to register. When you click register, you should get a, a notification that you registered. There it is. And I forgot to change my where my database points. One second. Essentially, what has happened is um, the part where you would edit this. I've, I've already a f file has already been edited up there and that's going to where I'm actually working on it and I just simply edited this and changed it to point to the test server so this should work now let me put in a new password all right now when we hit register there we go so that's going to our database so we've registered successfully you can actually pop over there and check we're gonna go look at our database users and there it is. There's Testy that we just created. So we know that's working. Now we need to create a character. So we're going to log in. Go ahead and log in. Let's log in. Now we... Oh, look. There's the new delete button. Yay! Thank you, Code Spartan. Alright, we're going to create us a new character. Hit the Create Character button. Testy is a mighty warrior. And we're going to hit Create. There we go. Uh, you don't log in here because there's no server, there's nothing running, and it's just going to crash. Essentially, we want to exit out now that we have the character created. I usually like to use the back button and exit. Sometimes just hitting a straight stop, it glitches out. Every now and then, not all the time. All right, let's go back to uh, our directions. All right, we're going to click stop. And from there, we're going to go up to the database. And remember, we got to change the characters table and we're going to set him to ID 0. What it is, the editor, when we work in the editor, it's, it needs to know that there is an ID 0 so that you can log in and test everything and settings and that's the way he's coded it. So let's go to the database. I'm going to blur out some of this information. Uh, it's just I don't want to expose it to the public. So what we're going to do is, if you notice right here, ID is set to 1. So we're just going to edit it. There's a little edit button. Edit button. Click it. Let's change that to 0 and hit go. There we go. Let's check it. Yep. So now we have set and I did it in the wrong time. I did this the first time when I opened the kit. I never pay attention. And actually you want to be in the characters. There we go. Make sure you're in the characters table. Hit edit. Change that to zero. And we'll update that. There we go. Now the ID of our uh, first character is zero, so we can work in the editor. I can go back to users real quick and set him back to one. That's the first mistake I made. I, I automatically clicked in the wrong one. Mr. Nemo is not very perfect. I clicked in the wrong one, so bear with me. All right, let's go back to the documentation. Uh, that explains why. And now what we're going to do, let's go to the death map race, and we're going to uh, run as a dedicate run a dedicated server, so simulate having a server, and we're going to test it out. All right, so let's go back to the game. Let's load up the death rally race map. This will take just a second. Now we're going to go up here. I'm going to play it in the editor, but the little drop down arrow. Run a dedicated server, so it's going to simulate having a server, and then we're going to hit play. 
and if everything worked right we should log right into the game if you get a, a loading issue here this generally means that uh, one of those steps probably you didn't set it right so you may need to make sure and there we are we are now inside the game there is Mr. Testy all right let's hit stop and if you want to you can go ahead and test this with two players uh, that's going to be optional I'm not going to cover that. that's pretty simple you would just have to create another account in your SQL database and set it to one so essentially go back through the creation process process create another account uh, it should by default set to one but if not make sure you check in your database that it sets to one all right so that has now covered the database and launching for the first time if you have any questions post them down below I'll be sure to try to help answer them uh, that's going to end this series and possibly a move over to the map next I'll have to see what's going on all right guys thanks for coming along